Hi again, everyone. I'm Walt Gray. Here's what's happening. As hundreds of thousands of Northern Californians face power shutoffs, when the power is back on, schools are going to have to try to figure out if they need to extend the school year because of the closures that the power shutoff triggered. The whole Grass Valley School District is canceling classes and after school pro pro uh, programs today. No classes today at Folsom Lake Community College's Placerville campus. Esparto Unified School District schools are also closed today. There are water concerns in some parts of Northern California due to the power outage. One of the areas experiencing water concerns is Fairfield, Solano County. The city has two water treatment plants. One of them is affected by the PG&E power shutoffs. Fortunately, as a battery backup generator, but that means it's working at a reduced rate of about 50%. City officials want everyone to know the water is safe to drink, but they're asking residents to be mindful and conserve water whenever possible. Traffic has also been a concern. No power means no working traffic lights in many areas. The city of Santa Rosa tweeting a photo saying they have responded to multiple traffic collisions, including five with injuries at intersections without power. They're asking everybody, please slow down. Treat all intersections without power as a four way stop. If you're not familiar with an area, proceed with caution to keep an eye out for traffic lights that are not working. For an update on the weather forecast, here is Rob Conrock. The, the good and bad of humanity is revealed at a four-way stop. <laughs> some people are all, all about it. Some people just do their own thing, so pay attention. Uh, this is what we have, folks. Uh, Weather-wise, we've got uh, a red flag warning that's been extended. So I've highlighted this. For the uh, valley spots, this means we're going to have dry, windy conditions until 9 p.m. Yesterday, it was only until 5 p.m., so a couple more hours. Uh, past sunset. And then also for the High Sierra, we're looking at it being extended possibly until Friday morning. So that means another overnight uh, with conditions that are going to be dry, windy, and prone to fire growth that's going, going to be pretty quick. So again, we're not out of this yet. If anything, the weather has been extended for yet another window into the evening and maybe even all the way till tomorrow morning. We are, though, in general, moving away from the most serious kinds of red flag warnings, uh, which is what we saw early this morning. Gusts up to 50, 60 miles an hour. Near Santa Rosa, we saw wind gusts of 74 miles an hour, so it was certainly ripping through the overnight hours. But as we move into the afternoon, it's still windy, still dry, still a fire concern. But when you start to see those colors fade, it tells you that we're moving in the right direction. It's going to be setting up for a much better weekend ahead. The 70s are here to stay. This is actually a below average forecast for us at temperature wise. So we've cooled down in, in the midst of everything that's been going on. 70s all the way through the weekend, more 70s next week. And then, yep, there we go. A chance of rain by the middle to the end of next week.